My name is Anthony. I'm a biomechanist and work in R&D. I'm talking to you today about what you get from the biomechanics assessment report. So at Driveline, we have 15 infrared OptiTrack cameras that sample at 240 hertz. That's basically about eight times what the human eye can see at. So using those cameras and reflective markers, we're able to record pitchers throwing, and then from there, recreate a 3D model of their pitching mechanics. After that, we then apply basic physics to that model, which then spits out a boatload of objective data. We're able to get a six page report that is filled with your kinematic positions, velocities, and also joint kinetics. Those are gonna be your torques, moments, forces, uh, basically your stress values at the joint level. So while the PT, the throwing, and the strength assessments are really good, it's possible that some things slip through the cracks. The objective data that we get from the biomechanics report is able to potentially pick up on that and also back up everything else that we get from the assessment process. For instance, an athlete could have really good hip shoulder separation, but maybe their timing between peak pelvis and peak torso uh, rotation is a little too fast and we'd like there to be more of a delay there. It's also possible that an athlete has really high shoulder abduction or really low shoulder abduction at foot contact. Uh, things like that we're able to pick up in the biomechanics report and then use that in conjunction with the throwing, uh, strength, and PT assessment to create this uh, integrated approach to the assessment process, which allows us to then basically build out your roadmap and optimize your development for pitching.